Good morning, folks. There is currently a war going on that dwarfs everyone on Earth in terms of firepower, and it's taking place on the sun. The Earth-facing solar quiet has been dominating progressively since November of 2011, but the primary solar conjunction is less than 24 hours away, and the new sunspots on the disk decided to take a run at activity. And if you saw yesterday's news, there is no doubt the Earth-facing quiet lost round one. But this morning, he's at the podium saying, Oh, you were finished. Well, allow me to retort. Earth-facing quiet may have been caught sleeping, but he woke up fast and completely shut down solar activity on the Earth-facing disk. Over at SpaceWeatherNews.com, it's almost eerie to watch the lack of activity given what we saw yesterday. The three sunspot groups we did see all faded under the Earth-facing influence, but we do now have a fourth grouping at the limb, biggest umber of the bunch it looks like, so we'll keep watching. Solar wind here. This telemetry is still above average intensity, but the stability is keeping Earth's magnetosphere calm. The northern coronal hole here is driving that stream and should deliver another by middle of the week. Coronal hole is also driving quake watches, and this is the last two weeks of risk scoring on the disaster prediction app. We just peaked, and after days and days below average, we took a 6.4 in Ecuador, and a 6-pointer also struck across the Pacific and Tonga. Hopefully that's all we get this round, been a nice break from big quakes. Here is a look at the upcoming East Pacific. By the end of the week we could have three systems churning there, and they all appear to have westward tracks as opposed to going north. Hawaii still need eyes open. This video can be found on Facebook and the Weather Channel. You see the rope coming out of the clouds, but not really going down, and where do you end, my friend? Apparently back up in the clouds. We'll discuss this more at suspiciousobservers.org along with today's top article. We're looking at the electrons at the Earth boundary and determining that rather than solar activity or system contribution from Earth's magnetic field, these electrons are driven by the solar wind impacts themselves, which I happen to think is solar activity, but it's the solar wind non-homogeneity that creates these relativistic electrons. Major global electric circuit implications, and that has been the topic of the last two Deeper Look episodes. Number 56, posted for you guys yesterday afternoon in the members section of suspiciousobservers.org. And if you're new enough here that you haven't seen earthchanges.org, go ahead and give that a peek as well. We've got weather in the top viewer locations, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.